Hello everyone and welcome to my first video that I'm taking in my new house. I just got it about a month ago and I know I haven't put out a video in a while but I've been doing some things here, you know, moving in and all that, taking care of some financial stuff. But finally going to give you an update. Sorry about that and welcome to my new subscribers. I really appreciate your help. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So as you can see, the fish tank itself is doing quite well. Um, it wasn't that hard moving it here. Just uh, I couldn't actually get my fish out with a net or by hand. So I had to let it drain all the way down to the gravel. And then once they started flopping on the gravel, I just scooped them up and put them in their own containers. I bought two of the five gallon uh, water bottles that you normally see on water dispensers in an office. Bought two of those at Walmart and filled them up with tank water. Uh, that way, I don't have to recycle the tank when I got here. And I hadn't, I haven't lost any fish, and they did just fine. In fact, just a couple hours after I set them up, uh, the turquoise rainbow, he was. Uh, starting to try to spawn with the female turquoise which he always does anyway but that's a good sign because the fish are trying to spawn in your tank and that means the water parameters are perfect <clears throat> and also you might be able to notice that I've done some more aquascaping I took out the Amazon sword that was back in that corner I didn't like it anymore. I just it wasn't growing as tall as it should have, even with fertilizers and uh, iron tabs and all that. So I just pulled it out and I put it in a tank outside in the backyard, and it's doing fine out there. Still not growing as big as it should, but like I said before in a previous video, the that and the Anubius on my piece of driftwood, I got at PetSmart. I don't think PetSmart sells the, I don't want to say real plants because they are real, but they're, they're toned down varieties. It, they don't grow as well as other plants I bought from Dustin, uh, which by the way, everything in my tank is from him except the Anubius <clears throat> and Amazon Sword, which is no longer in there, of course. But like the Luigia, the Crips. The Jorf Sag, all of that came from Dustin. And I trimmed down my uh, red tiger lotuses quite a bit. You can probably see that. I had several stems uh, coming up to the top of the tank, but I just trimmed them down. Yesterday I did a big water change. The, the first one I've actually done since I've moved in. I don't really do water changes every week. In fact, I try not to because every time I mess with my tank, something seems to happen. Um, last July, when I was living in the dorms on base still, I had my 10 gallon. And I was gone for three weeks on leave. And I set up the automatic light timer and food dispenser for them. They did just fine without my help. And I come back and start messing with the tank, and then I had fish dying off. But I prefer to just leave it alone. If your fish are doing fine, I, I personally wouldn't do anything. But um, I know Dustin is a big believer about water changes every week. I just don't do that because I don't need to. So let me tell you a little story. A couple days ago, I woke up. I'm going to get ready for work. I come in here and one of my golden dojo loaches, which you can see him right there, being all happy. Um, the newest one was on the floor. I found him right there. <laughs> yeah, apparently he had jumped out of a tank. He had crawled his way up on the side where the intake of the filter is and there's just a little bitty hole 
above the canopy and I saw some water so I knew he had just you know, climbed his way out and just started swimming up towards here but he's alright I mean I don't know why he did it I guess he did it being cocky but loaches are known to jump out of aquariums and even with my canopy on he managed to get out still so that's just that proves that you've got to be careful even with uh, a canopy on your fish tank. One last thing I want to point out in this update is I, yeah, I got rid of the Amazon sword and in its place I tried planting the water wisteria I have. I don't know why but it died off when I planted it. I can't keep certain plants. <laughs> I don't know why. So I took what little was left, unrooted it, and it's just floating on top. Not a lot, but hopefully it'll come back. If not, I won't cry over it. And in its place, I had all this Ludwigia, like little pieces break off from the main batch over here. And I just let them float. And once they get big enough, I plant them. I decided to plant them over here, and it'll fill in this space pretty good. And I think the fish will like it. Besides relocating my Amazon sword, uh, the last video I did was about the clown loach I have got by trading in all that Ludwigia at the local fish store I go to. Well, he passed away. I never found the body. And actually he passed away just a couple days after I made that video. I never found the body. He didn't jump out. I, I looked behind the fish tank. Um, I think what happened was uh, clown loaches have these little barbells that stick out on the side of their mouths. They stick out when they get scared. Well, the little guy I like to hide in the driftwood down here in a little crevice, and he's got caught before. I had to use my finger to coax him out. And I think he got stuck again in the driftwood. And this time he couldn't get out because the barbells were, you know, lodged into the wood. So he just, uh, he just died. And then one of my fish ate him, probably my Placo. He was hiding right now, and... He's about nine and a half inches long. I know they get up to two feet long. But, remember I said in the past that once I get in my own place, I'm going to get a 125? We've got several places in this house to get a 125 tank, at least a 125. And they're on sale all the time at the local fish store for 100 bucks. So all i got to do is make a stand, set it up, I got 125 and I will do that but I will be leaving here shortly for deployment so once I get back from the deployment then I'll buy it but <clears throat> I'll put him in the, the bigger tank I'll put the loaches in there because they can get up to a foot long and I'll probably put all the rainbows in there as well along with the Buenos Aires Tetras because they actually need a larger tank. I mean, this is like the bare minimum I would keep them in. I only had them in a 10 gallon for a short period of time because they were babies and I knew I'd be upgrading anyway. So I had a 10 gallon in the dorms. I got this 29 gallon when I got into the apartments. Now that I got my own house, I'm gonna get a 125. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to rate, like, dislike, comment, subscribe. Um, I enjoy everyone that subscribes and asks me questions. I, I'll be more than willing to help. But I don't know everything. I can only tell you from my personal experience. So, yeah, I'll try to keep more updates coming. But y'all have a good one. See you later. No, I'm not going to feed you. I just fed you not too long ago.